What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony here from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 39th Java programming tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys a little concept called method overloading. Now it's not a very complicated concept to grasp. <coughs> Sorry. Um, basically all it is is when you have in Java you're allowed to make methods with the same name. Now you're allowed to do this as long as you do one thing. You have to have different parameters in each method. So I'm going to show you guys this in this tutorial. So make sure you guys have your second class all set up and everything. Mine's called the tomatoes class as usual. And uh, yeah, so let's make our first method. We'll make it public because it we want it to be accessible from our YouTube tutorials class. And then it's going to be a void return type because we're not going to be returning anything back. We're just going to be printing out something. And then we're going to call it uh, Let's call it do stuff. And it's going to take a parameter of int. And then we'll call it a. Alright, so now all we're going to do is we're going to make a little print statement s out. And uh, let's just print out the value is plus a. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make another method with the same name, but we're going to change the parameter. So let's go public void do stuff and close that up. And we're going to take, instead of just taking in an integer, we're going to take in, um, what should we take in? Let's take in a string. So string s. And now we're just going to make a little print statement again. So very basic. I'm trying to make this as basic for you guys as I can so you guys can fully understand the concept. I'm not really trying to make this like crazy hard for you guys. Make it, I don't want to make a crazy hard program and kind of like distort the concept of uh, method overloading. So I'm making it as simple as possible. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to say the string is uh, plus s. Now as you can see we don't have any errors. Um, we have two methods with the same names, but the only thing we changed was the parameters inside the method. So you're allowed to make as many methods with the same name as you want, as long as you change the parameters. So you could add in more parameters if you want. I could have added another one, int a, if you actually wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. And uh, just save this class right here, and we'll pop over to our YouTube tutorials class. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a tomatoes object. So let's go tomatoes t, name it whatever you want, and set it equal to new tomatoes, and then your parentheses. <clears throat> As you can see, there's nothing in the parentheses because um, we didn't actually explicitly make a constructor, so the default constructor takes no parameters. Um, so yeah, all we have to do is go t dot do stuff and as you can see when we put our dot separator we get two methods here we get a to do stuff methods and one takes a string value and one takes an integer value so depending on what you actually put into your uh, parameters will and whatever you put into your parameters java is going to decide what method to use by itself so if we put in a string it's going to use the string method and if we put in a integer, it's going to use the uh, method with the parameter of an integer. So let's put in Anthony, and then we could use our other one, t dot do stuff, and we'll put in ten because ten is my favorite number. So we'll run this, and there you go. The string is Anthony, and the value is ten. So I'll just do a quick little recap. Um, basically, all method overloading is is when you have more than one method with the same name but it has different parameters and basically we just made one method with an integer parameter and another one with a string parameter and we printed out a little string of text and we made an object of our tomatoes class so we could access these methods inside our tomatoes class and then by using our tomato object we called the do stuff methods from our tomato class so that's all you got that's all I got for this tutorial and if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask me and make sure you check out my website compsystudio.com and comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial